right, so for this next piece, we're going to look at how Unity deals with animations. Um, and they basically, they create what's called an animation control. This is what this piece is. You open that up, it's going to bring up this animator window. And right now, so what, it's a, it's an, and it's a finite state machine. So we've got different states. So four, and I've got four states for this, well, five technically. I've got an entry state, which goes automatically goes to this first state, which is the closed state. Um, I have a transition from here to, to playing the open animation. I have a, a state where it is, it is open, and then I have an animation where I'm going back, where I'm playing the animation essentially backwards. So here's, we can control the speed up here. So I'm playing the, the opening animation backwards to go to my closed animation. So these are, so these are the, you know, the animation itself. These are playing the, the title animation. So yeah, I want the title closed. Save this project. All right, so let's go back to my anim my oh, this one. There we go. So to this object right here, and I'm gonna start drag the chest into the scene again. I'm gonna just set this up at zero zero zero. Because that's where my, again, my game view, this is what we've got going on. Um, and one of the things that we could do would be like, hey, I'll just take the drag and, and drag it onto here. And it's going to form an animator. That's one way we could do it. Um, we could again, add components, animator. And it created the, again, for the object, you know, chest two. And it threw out some debug stuff. Don't worry about that. All right, so we're going to click in. And so, all right, let's just look. There is, again, they have an exit state. And, and again, these, these, these um, as you get further into using the animator, you may need to use these. But for our purposes right now, ent entry state is where we are starting. And we're actually not going to start with the opening animation. We want to go to the close item. So essentially, the, we want to start like, hey, say, hey, when we start, the box is closed. We are going to create a new state. And this is going to be to open. Create another state, and this one's going to be. Uh, this is not open. This is the closed state. This is the open state. And then we're going to do one more state. And this is going to be to close. All right, let's talk about the animation. So basically, on the close state, we're just going to use the close idle animation. Um, in the open animation, this is going to use the opening animation. The open is going to use the open idle. And then the close is going to use the open animation. But in this case, we're going to use a speed of negative one. So it's going to play in reverse. And, and essentially, what, what we're going to do is we're going to say that uh, we're going to make transition to each of these states. So the state th in this direction, go, and it's going basically going to go around. So this is basically what we're we are doing. Um, we have what's called layers. This is a, so you can basically like, hey, base layer. There's and if you're working on a model, you'd be like, the torso would be a layer, and your legs would be a layer. 
so you can layer animation so you can get, you know, you can worry about the torso doing its thing and the uh, your legs doing something else at the same time and you kind of reduce it all that way. We're not going to worry too much about, that is again getting much further down the, like what you can, there's a lot you can do with this tool. I'm just showing you the very basics right now. But, um, for our purpose right now, we want a parameter. Um, and we're going to add one right here. And we're going to use, you can be a float, an int, a bool, or a trigger. Our purpose is right now is going to just be a, be a boolean. And we're going to call it is open. And we can go in and we can we can apply this um, in here as we see fit, um, you know, to do, you know, to, we're testing things out. All right. This is where things get a little weird. So here's our closed state. We have transitions. We have a transition here, closed to open. We're going to click on that. And it's going to bring up this window right here. And we're going to click in here. Sorry, I want to keep going down. It's not, um, this is not what I want to touch. What I want to touch is what's called conditions. So this transition is from closed to open. So we can go to multiple different states of here as we see fit. It will happen based on the transitions. Um, the first transition you should know is an automatic transition. So here's entry. It goes directly to closed immediately. Um, too open, too close. These are going to happen immediately when the animation ends. But close, I'm going to stay here until um, basically that's going to happen immediately. So down here, I'm going to press add to this list. And the condition basically is the variable. This is the only parameter I have. But when is open is true, I'm going to tr transition from close to do open. To open is going to go right away to open. And I'm going to wait at the open until this variable is false. So I'm going to go down to open, click on it, and its transition, again, is open in this case, is to false. So we're going to go, so we're going to save the animator. I'm going to go back to my scene view. Here is my object. I have the animator. So this is this is again. I'm going to remove this component as you see. Um, this is what we're talking about. This is an animator. The controller is this is the type. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is just create a C sharp script called um, chess control. Add the, the script here. So we're going to do a little bit of scripting. So for those who are who need help with the scripting, I will come help you with this. But basically, I'm um, going to double click on it. That looks great. All right. I'm going to have a public bool. I'll call it is open. And then I'm going to have an animator. And I'm just going to call it Annie. And in start, basically, we're going to just get that animator. So it's Annie is equal to game object get components of the animator. So in update, basically, I'm going to have an if statement. If I'm going to use input, get key down, key code dot space. So basically, when the space bar is pressed, um, is open is going to be equal to the inverse of is open. And I can do this because of the Boolean. And then what I want to then do is I'm going to go to my animation control, and I'm going to use the um, 
There is a bunch of set bool, set float, uh, set set trigger, speed, set the speed of the animation if you want. Um, So there's all sorts of you can do, but ba basically the big one is going to be set. Um, we're going to use set uh, again, float in. Uh, sorry, the bool, the float, int, and and again the trigger. Again, we want to set a bool because that's the what we had. I'm going to go back to Unity just quickly and go back to the. So the property, the parameter that we have is is open, and I have written it. Let me just let me grab it. I've written it with a capital I in this case. Go back to here and set bool. It is an ID and then there's a value, um, but we want to use string name. What is the name of the given Boolean parameter? Is open. And the value that we are going to pass is the is open Boolean. So, again, a lot that we can do. With that system, um, we can set you know how fast are we going, um, and we can actually you know based on how you know there's a lot more things you can do with this system, um, and we'll look at that over the next few weeks, as I like hey here's something you can do, um, as I pull in a hey here's here's a skeletal animation with an animation. I'll set save that. I'll go back to Unity itself. I'll go back to my game view. Um, I should be. Okay to go. Press the space bar. You can see that it opened. Press the space bar. It's going to close. So right now it's playing the idle uh, close animation. It's playing the opening animation. Now the idle open animation. I'll press it again. It's closed. A lot to do for a little bit of work, but this is the basics. And so for Unity, for those who are working in Unity, this is where I am kind of expecting. Um, how you want to animate your lid, go have fun. I know some of you have coffins. If you have, I know someone has a hilariously bad coffin. Uh, put, you put, what did you put on your, what was on your lid again? What was on your lid? Did you, did, I thought it was like El Bozo. Yeah, maybe. Most likely. Please keep that. Um. Yeah, like how you how you you material you put material on and what that material is is up to you. If you want to have fun and humor with it, go right ahead. If you want to put something inside, go ahead. I know he has a, a Steve type model, which I'm expecting to show up inside his coffin. If you want to do something like that, go ahead. Um, if you want to put bottles of stuff in there, or you want to put something that's nonsensical inside your chest, go right ahead. Um, it's not. Not being graded on the, the the art style or the humor, but the fact that you can do like this is what we're looking for right now. And this is a very sim again simple example. I'm gonna stop my recording right here.